Uh, you know, just to catch you guys up a little bit, um, BitBoy is dead. Uh, I'm Ben Armstrong. BitBoy is dead. Don't call me BitBoy anymore. Um, I have, uh, there's still some discussions going on with, you know, potentially having some mediation in a few weeks, um, potentially from their side. So um, the hit network side. So, you know, it, it's, it's been a, a, a hard process along the way, but um, at the end of the day, like I'm ready to fight for my, you know, for my new channel. I don't want to fight for the old. I don't fight for the new channel. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to fight for Ben Armstrong. I'm going to fight for my name. I'm going to fight for the family. And um All right. Welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. It's time for another Ben Armstrong, formerly known as BitBoy Crypto Update. I know a lot of people are enjoying these updates, so you guys know I had to come out and give you guys this update because it is quite interesting to say the least. And some things that I'm going to mention to you just do not add up. And is this karma? Who knows? I want to hear from you guys in the comment section what you guys think about this. So today, just about five hours ago, we did hear from Ben Armstrong himself. He has come out and uploaded the second video on his new channel. And you guys know I... I uh, inserted a clip earlier in my update and we're going to be talking a little, a little more about that. You know, he goes in and says, hey, you know, this fight still goes on. We're going to go into mitigation. I'm still going to fight for my new channel and my name, which is really interesting. I wanted to share that part with you guys and really want to see what you guys think on that. So basically from what I'm understanding is he mentions that he wants to fight for his new channel. So does he have some sort of you know paperwork some sort of a agreement in place where he can't even use his legal name i'm not really understanding what he means by that this is where i want to hear from you guys in the comment section um some people come out and said that you know this is just a way um to hide from you know his the sec lawsuit that he's facing because now they have taken um, the hit network or whoever's behind the newer shareholders have taken everything and uh, reason as to why they have taken everything is just so he can uh, not you know get in trouble by the sec and these are again just speculations going on within the community i want to hear from you guys what you have to say on that but this is his second update and his channel is blowing up a channel that was just launched four days ago has already reached 33,300 um you know subscribers and that is something really really big to note shows us once again the power of this guy and why he is the biggest influencer when it comes to the crypto space and he's really sending some shockwaves around um, you know people that hated him uh, to really see how powerful he is guys you know pulling these kind of numbers in about four days is really really impressive and that's what happens when you build a channel from ground zero and take it up to this 1.4 million mark that is what happens you build a following base you build a brand for yourself and that is why everyone, all his viewers are upset because he's the one who built up this brand. And now we're seeing new faces in every single video that people are not used to seeing. And even people that don't even watch him anymore are saying, hey, you know what? We're sick and tired of this. You guys need to get back the channel and because he is the one who honestly owns it uh, screw the corporate whatever situation you guys have going on what you guys have done is not right and that is why his uh, ben nation um, is really really uh, you know going out and actually literally spamming the heck out of anything the bitboy crypto like whoever's running this channel and you know what's quite funny is that there was a video that just came out about 11 hours ago and it says AJ got hacked and I'm pretty sure this is one of the new shareholders. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, um, you know, it's so funny. Like they made a video on this and literally all the comments are saying you did not get scammed. You, uh, I'm sorry, you did not get hacked. You got scammed. There's a big difference. So apparently he clicked a link or something like that for a trading bot. But, you know, he's really getting... Uh, you know a hard time from the ben nation so that is quite interesting so you know one thing that i want to point out is that while now that they have taken this massive channel that's bringing in insane amount of revenue guys you know we're talking thousands of dollars we're talking thousands of dollars on a monthly basis um on this channel and um, obviously they have taken over that channel uh, but it seems like things are not going on their way 
the way they wanted to because of course they were thinking that you know they're going to kick him off and um, they can just come and run this channel but what we're seeing happening with the analytics is that the viewership the amount of views that this channel is getting is starting to decrease of course the amount of views they're still getting is quite high and that is not a surprise um, you know these numbers are literally insane amount of numbers but what I'm trying to tell you guys is that the viewership is definitely decreasing. Whether you hate Ben or whether you love him, everyone can agree that he is the brand behind BitBoy Crypto. And that's why a lot of people are upset. But yeah, I wanted to really go over this because it's starting to look like um, that he's been kicked out, but everything is going bad for them. And it's showing us the magnitude uh, you know, of this powerful fan base of his which i'm talking about the bitboy crypto obviously now known as ben armstrong so if we're looking at his analytics on his new channel you guys can see it's picking up steam right now obviously it's uh, not 100 percent accurate uh, because it's just a fairly new channel so these are the reasons as to why uh, these numbers are not correct because if we go look at his channel you can see this for yourself just about four days ago the video that he uploaded that hey this is my new channel you can see 89 thousand views on that one and just the one five hours ago 15,000 and that's already over a hundred K views in just a matter of four days so clearly you can see the power of this guy so I wanted to hear from you guys what do you guys think about what he is saying in this video where he comes out and says he's fighting for his name and um, I'm kind of confused on that part and speaking about the Lamborghini that was taken away from him a lot of people are still on the um, sidelines not really understanding as to what it means by his Lamborghini being taken and I will talk about that so basically what happens is in a corporation which he had um, he purchased that Lamborghini under that corporation and I think he purchased it when no one else was involved I think everyone was added later on and obviously when they kicked him out guess what the Lamborghini lease or finance is under that corporation and guess what they're going to take that they're 100% um, you know able to take that because it's under that company so basically what I'm thinking is there were four shareholders or five shareholders and combined of those other four not including Ben their shares were worth more so they came together and voted him out because of course uh, you know he was under substance what uh, they have said and um, you know he made them lose a lot of money blah 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 but what people are starting to say is that the money that they are really worried about is something that he made He's the one who built that empire for himself. So people are just on, uh, you know, the sidelines from really not want, really not understanding what they mean because he's the one who built this unless he, they're talking about some other things that they had going on behind the scenes. No one really knows. But, you know, there needs to be more transparency from the other side as well. We kind of haven't really heard anything maybe because of uh, legal issues. But again, this is just an update from our side. We're going to be talking about, uh, you know, what's going on, just sharing our personal thoughts. I do want to talk to you guys in the comment section. I'm not on anyone's side, but at the end of the day, I honestly do think that no one really deserves to have something they've built up uh, from ground zero to now uh, being taken away unless they were unless Ben Armstrong was paid to be uh, selling some shares within the corporation, then, you know, it's a different story. But wanted to give you guys an update regarding this. Let me know down below what you guys think. But with that said, see you tomorrow in CryptoZX.